Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. Anyway, uh, all right, let's get into the fight. First round, that thought, and then I'll throw it to you for your expert analysis. Um, pretty tentative opening round. Guys chipping away with leg kicks. No one landing anything particularly flush, particularly flush. Uh, it all went down in the second round. I think the low kicks, the calf kicks of Pereira were starting to mount up. He th uh, Pereira threw one, it buckled him, right? And then he got excited. And to be honest, somebody like Pereira, granted, he's still a novice in mixed martial arts, but he's had a lot of kickboxing fights. You know, striking, that is his thing, that's his forte. When you see someone a little hurt, yeah, go for the kill, go for the finish. But you've still got to maintain your defensive posture. You know, he was throwing wild hooks, arms out wide, that allowed Izzy to counter. Went upstairs, beautiful combination though, very uh, impressive and aggressive and fast. Up to the head, down to the body, flying knee, just grazes, and then a razor fast lightning, one, two. Oh, Incredible, incredible. I loved every second of it. I thought the celebration was fully warranted. One of the coolest things I saw, you know, yeah, the three bow and awesome. arrows. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So good. Yeah. I, yeah, the first round was definitely tentative. But I think Pereira was doing a – look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's badass. It is badass. It's super badass. I, I thought Pereira was doing a really good job of – attack in the leg but he did the exact same thing in the first fight so i kept like as i was going it looked very similar to the way that the first fight was going is he was very I, I expected izzy to be a little more aggressive and pushing Pereira back any any you know it was very similar to the first fight or the last you know their last fight when he he lots of lots of movement Pereira kind of walking him down because he's just such a big intimidating figure he's he's hard to put pressure on because he won't take a step backwards um I thought his low kicks looked better. This this fight, he changed the way that he did it a little bit. It's it, it's really funny. We actually went. Uh, I pulled Mark Montoya aside today, and I said, "What what is so different about the way that Pereira kicks?" Well, some of it is he stands so straight up and down, and he can get away with doing that because his left hook is so nasty that mm -hmm. when people are they can't really pressure him. Even I think if he runs into a really high qual like a high high level wrestler that's going to be a lot of problems for him because he is so straight up and down um, and you, got, you can, can kind of just get mowed over. But when he's in the strikers, he doesn't really have to worry about it too much because he doesn't really back up and he's got such a nasty, powerful left hook that he backs people off with. It. But and I, so I was talking about what's different in his low kick and, and it's kind of just the next level, you know, like we're taught the fundamentals of everything. And then as you go, you learn the the you know the second, the third, the fourth level of advancement in each one of those techniques, and he's just a higher level kicker, where he doesn't have to turn his shoulders so much. You know, he's so used to re retracting his kick so quickly, and I, so I thought that he really did a he did an even better job attacking that low kick early and hard, and it was really giving Izzy problems because he switched first round pretty quickly and and didn't go back really to he would move, he'd go back to orthodox, but immediately when prayer would kick, he'd go right back to southpaw. So. And the second round, I, they got after it faster than I expected. I thought the first two would be a little slower since they both got kind of tired in the in the last fight, but they kind of got right after it. And and I know Izzy said he was playing possum a little bit, but it, what do you think? I mean, because no one will ever know. Only Izzy will know that. And as a man, you know, you might say that. You know, my, my because honest, trying to cover up. I don't my know. Honest if he was. opinion. My honest, honest opinion is that he got buckled right there with that hard leg kick. Pereira started to turn on, and I think Izzy bit down on his mouthpiece and, and had a little bit of a flashback of what the last fight looked and felt like. And I think he I think he had to decide that I need to either yeah. get the, I, I need to get the fuck out of here right now, or this is gonna go bad quickly. You can't stand well, in front of a guy like Pereira like that. Izzy smarter. And that's the thing, like I I'm not gonna call I'm not calling Izzy a liar. He like you said, he's the only one that knows. He's the only one that was in there and knew exactly what he was thinking. But Izzy is too smart of a kickboxer. He's too smart of a fighter. He's been doing this for too long to play possum with a guy mm. like Alex Pereira yeah. throwing bombs at you because that's playing with fire. And this is not the fourth fight and you've lost the first three. Is not the time that you want to start playing with fire to play games. So I, I do. I think he took a hard kick. I think he backed up. I think he covered and started feeling like here, here we go. He didn't, he didn't use as much movement to get off of the fence like he did before. He kind of punched his way off the fence the first couple mm. times he got caught. So 
I think he bit down on his mouthpiece, waited for Pereira to open up because he does tend to throw wide when he thinks he has someone hurt. And his feet start to come, instead of being staggered, they come square and he starts unloading. And I think that he waited until he was open, went bop, bop, one, two, came over with another overhand and, and was able to close the show. But I, I think he had to make a decision right there. This sucks. Well, yeah. I can't get caught here again. I need to get the fuck out of here. Well, if you look at it from Izzy's, sorry, Alex's point of view, right? It's, it's just like history repeating itself, only this time it's round two, not round five. So you can understand why he got a little bit excited because he's like, oh, my God, here we go. It's happening nice and early in the fight. I haven't taken much damage. We're only in round two, and it's the same thing. He's backed up against the fence. So he got excited. And I think I, – I do think that having the history of the former fight, the fight that happened last time, and playing possum in that situation would be a very, very dangerous thing to do. This isn't Muhammad Ali doing a rope adult with big gloves on. These are mm -hmm. tiny little gloves with massive consequences when you get caught. 